Alrighty, my friend, what's going on? This is just y'all with another video. Um, me, my brother, and my little one. What you say, Pito? What's up, everybody? I got lots of fish now and a big fish. You got a big fish? Yeah, and I got lots of, lots of fish. The, a lot, a lot of fish. I don't know what he says. All right, man. Uh, the plans on the beginning was uh, do some catch, clean, and cook on Mangro Snapper, but it was That's too windy. Right? As you guys gonna see in the video. So we decided to move Daddy? deeper into Daddy. the bridge. We are on the south side of Skyway. I'm talking people. Daddy, Daddy. So um, what happened when we got to the end over there, the macro bite was so crazy. So we say, you know what? We gotta catch some macro. So we're gonna do like a catch, clean and cook macro, Spanish macro. So stay tuned guys, don't go anywhere. I'll let you guys go with the video. And see you guys in the kitchen. What you say, Pito? We try and catch lots of fish, the big fish, and now we love the fish. Okay. Okay? Yeah. See? <laughs> if you guys know what it says, let me know in the comments. What is it? Fish. Big fish?
así es como la parte, vienen dos o tres ahí, una atrás a la otra. the bay hit the water there's a macro on it
Just cut the head, cut the butt, the butt. And just gonna make it. Como se dice esto, no? Rolls. There you go, guys. The easiest way to clean a macro to me. Perfect. So I'm gonna do the to the other one and see you guys tomorrow in the kitchen. All right, folks. Welcome back. This is the macro. All right. So let me show you what I got over here. This is like a, some type of marinade. A lot of garlic. I got two limes there. I got all purpose seasoning. I got black, uh, black pepper and a whole bunch of salt. So what I'm gonna do, I like to put this on a Ziploc bag, the Blue Runner. I'm gonna put everything on this container. And I'm going to pour that good sour juice in it on top of it. Oh, and never mind, that jello thing is uh, olive oil. Let me put the whole thing back in. Remember, guys, this is uh, you could do this and left it there no longer than a couple of hours. Because if you left it there for too long, like like I did before, I did it to the next day, it was too sour. Too sour. So I got left that there for I guess like 30 minutes, an hour, until I do my vegetables. Alrighty. So what I got there is some asparagus, uh butter, and a whole bunch of seasoning. Steaming around for a little bit. And I'm going to put the rest of the vegetables. I got some cabbage, purple cabbage, green cabbage. Everything's going there. More seasoning. And also, that cabbage is already boiled. Put it to boil for a little bit. And this is guys gonna be my vegetables. There you go. The sparrow is already done. Everything's done. I'm just gonna taste it and see how it tastes. Alrighty guys. Be careful with this part. Because all the marinade, garlic doesn't react so good on the heat. I'm naming on the hot oil. So it's already dark because I already cooked once in there. And carefully we put that there. Be careful. Anyway, it's gonna, the fish is gonna come out kind of like darker color, really dark. But it's gonna be super delicious. There you go. Just give it a minute. All right, fellas. I know it looks like it's burned, but trust me, guys, it's not burned. For some reason, it got that really dark color, but it only been there like for four minutes. So this batch coming out. So I'm gonna put the rest in. I think it's the garlic, you see it? The one gave us that color or the lime, I don't know. So let me go inside and make the plate. There you go, fellas. So this is uh, some type of brown rice. My mother in law made it to me, for me, or she, she just came today and she made it. Let me put the plate. Brown rice or like Cuban snow, con gris. big plate because I'm hungry I'm over here 
porque são vegetables there perfect and I got the fish right there all right folks Look at you! Look at the rice. How how nice that look. There you go. <laughs> that is perfect. That is really good. Cabbage. Remember, really simple. Quick marinade. Let it let it marinate for two three hours not over the day overnight because it's gonna be too sour uh, vegetables a little bit of butter uh, caramelize a little bit a bunch of seasoning in it that's it um, really simple stuff all right my friends it's really good so I'm, gonna, I'm, on, I'm going right now because I'm enjoying this really quiet if you guys like what I do please subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and see you guys on the next one thank you Remember, the sparrow have to have some crunch. If he doesn't have to crunch, it's overcooked. Really good. Look at that beast. Mm -mm. Look at that beast, yo. She eat it all. Look at that. No more vegetables and no more food. Okay. That means good, right? How was it? Or do you need much hambre? Both.